In this demonstration, I'll show you how to find the indefinite integral of a function. An indefinite integral is one in which the constant or constants of integration remain undetermined and which has not been satisfied by any particular value of the variable. Let's start with question one. In question one, they ask us to find the integral for the following function. Now in a situation like this, you have multiple terms, so you're gonna to need to find the antiderivative for each of those terms. Let's start with the first term, x to the power of three. x to the power of three becomes x to the power of four over four. Moving on to four sine x. Now, in order to find the antiderivative of sine x, we use this handy table, and it tells us that the antiderivative of sine x is equal to negative cosine x. So our answer becomes negative four cosine x. Next, we have negative six e to the power of x has an antiderivative of e to the power of x. So our answer becomes negative six e to the power of x. And seven over x, this is a tricky one. If you look at your table, you have one over x is ln x. So what you're gonna need to do is separate this seven and one over x, and then that becomes seven times ln absolute of x. And lastly, two becomes simply two x. What we're going to do is combine all five of these terms and then add an arbitrary constant c at the end. So f x is equal to, and notice how this f is big, which denotes the integral x to the power of four over four, minus four cosine x plus two x, and don't forget the most important part, the plus c. Let's move on to question two. In this question, they're expecting us to find the integral for this function. Now what you wanna do is you wanna distribute this bottom denominator to each of these numerators. You can do that. x to the power of three over x square rooted minus five x square root of x plus one over the square root of x. So we're gonna need to find the antiderivative for each of these terms. We're gonna start with the first one. So in our first term, we have x to the power of three, and instead of writing the square root of x, I'm gonna write it in its exponential form, x to the power of half. And what we can use here is the quotient rule in algebra, namely the exponential rules, where if you have the same base, you can subtract three minus whatever it is, and you end up with x to the power of 2.5, and x to the power of 2.5 is five over two. So we can find the antiderivative of x to the power of five over two. Now to do that, you're going to need to add a one to the exponent, and then whatever that is, you put it at the bottom. So let's find out. Five over two plus one gives us seven over two. So we're gonna place seven over two at the bottom here, and what we end up with is 2x7 over 2 over 7. Next, we're going to find the antiderivative of this term. And we're going to do the same thing where we have negative 5x over x to the power of half. I'm going to subtract 1 from half. And if I do that, I end up with negative 5x to the power of half. And if I find the antiderivative for this one, I'm going to need to add a plus one here. And then whatever that is, I put it at the bottom. So we have negative five X three over two. I'm going to take three over two, put it at the bottom. If I manipulate this, I end up with negative 10 X three over two over three. So, so far we have the following. And lastly, we're going to find what the antiderivative of this term is equal to. Here, what I will do is switch this to its exponential form, and then switch it so that it's a negative exponent. I'm going to add one, find out what that is equal to, and divide the whole term by that. So, negative half plus one is equal to x to the power of half over one over two. And this becomes two x a half. So I'm going to put all three of these terms, these antiderivatives together, 
where I have 2x to the power of 7 over 2 square root of x. Don't forget the plus c. And so there you have it. Two examples on how to find the indefinite integral. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at studyforce.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.